Hello everybody to one of our most requested videos of all time, which is going over how to install vMenu and get it set up for your server. Now, vMenu is a very, very popular resource for 5M, which is a server-side trainer type menu, which means you can disable script hook on your server to prevent other players from using their custom trainers or their custom script hook or simple trainers, those types of resources. So this would be server side. But please note, vMenu is no longer being updated or expanded on. So you get what you get. There is no support or like uh, professional support for vMenu. There is only community support. So please keep that in mind. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So what features does it have? Well, it has all kinds of player options like God Mode, Heal, Set Health, Wanted Levels, Customization of Characters, Spawning Vehicles, bunch of cool developer tools, stuff like that. Um, if you are using Zap Hosting, it is a one-click install. You do not need to go through any of this. Um, you can find out more over on your Zap Hosting control panel. Um, but if you're using other software, dedicated hosting, home hosting, you do need to install it manually. The controls are pretty much M to toggle the menu. That is it. Um, and then if you're using a controller, you hold down the interaction menu. Um, to open it up. There is a very, very nice documentation for this resource. So if you are interested in reading over that, and I highly recommend you read over that, that will be available as well on the resource page. And it goes through all the install uh, manually and everything, but it also goes over how to set up permissions and how to get that file set up and used. I'll go over a very basic um, overview of the permission system, and I will do a full video on just the permission system in a coming few weeks. All right, so to download the resource, you're gonna go back to the main overview page. You're gonna go down to where it says downloads or download, and you're gonna click me, where it says click me. Then here, you're gonna go down into, you see the dot zip version 3.2.1 is the newest version. Uh, but anyway, just open up the zip with WinZip, 7-zip, whatever you want to use for your install. Um, now, you'll see there is a lot of files here. Don't be overwhelmed already. You do not need to be overwhelmed on all of this so far. So, here's what we have to do. You are going to go ahead and create a new folder within your server dash data folder. So, inside of your server dash data folder, inside of resources, you're going to right click, click new folder, and you have to name it exactly lowercase v, capital M, and then menu. So make sure it's just lowercase v, menu. Make sure it's exactly the same, otherwise the resource will not work. A lot of people have issues with this folder name. Just make sure it's exactly under lowercase v, menu, with capital M. Then you're going to drag all of these files into that folder. And you can see there is all of these in here. That is what you have to do for that. Um, but there's another thing we need to do. Inside of here, you're gonna to go to the slash config folder. If you're on a Linux, it would be slash config. Here, it's just the slash uh, config folder. You are going to copy or move this folder. So the one that says permissions.cfg, you're gonna move this file. And that is gonna be moved to your main folder inside of server-data. You want that to be wherever your server.cfg file is. So there's now a permissions.cfg file. This is another thing multiple people have problems with is not knowing where to put this. You're going to put that right where your server.cfg file is. You want it to be in the same folder. Do not, um, don't do anything about that in terms of keeping it in the other folder. Now, inside of your server.cfg file, you're going to go ahead and edit it with notepad or notepad++. And we're going to do something we haven't done before. We are going to go ahead and add a new line and this is going to be all the way at the top above the ips even so all the way at the top you're going to add a new line that's e x e c which is execute really permissions.cfg and you're just going to keep that at the top of the file um now you're going to scroll down and you're going to add either ensure or start depending on however your setup is ensure then the v menu folder or start the v menu folder exactly how it is that is what you have to do. If you don't do this, permissions are going to be messed up, nothing's going to work properly, and you're going to run into a lot of problems. That's all you have to do to add it to your server. We're going to go over a little bit of a, the basic configuration of it, um, and then we'll hop in game and I'll show you how it really works. So, when you are in your file here, you can see we have a lot of files, and um, you don't have to really worry about as many of these. The config, you can see their locations.json and stuff are all editable, so you can create example locations yourself, find the coordinates using a trainer of some sort, or um, I believe this also has inbuilt coordinates you can set up. 
um, all this cool stuff. So you can set all this up. You can set the colors of the uh, details and everything. It has all the default uh, stores like the prisons, the hospitals, and everything are all built in here for you. Just keep that in mind. You also have the add-ons.json file, which is all your add-on vehicles and peds and weapons. So you can add all of those names here. Um, and they will appear in the menu. So if you're adding custom police cars and stuff, you would add them all in this file. That's kind of the basic setup of that. Um, now, don't edit the permissions.cfg in this file. This is not going to be the one you're using anymore. You do not need that. Um, you can literally just delete this out of this folder. It's not needed. But back in your main server data, your permissions.cfg here is what's going to be used. And you can see there is a lot to do with this file. And this is kind of where it gets a little crazy. Now, um, should it use permissions? Should everybody, if you turn this to false, everybody will be able to do pretty much everything. So please don't switch it to false unless you want a complete anarchy server. Um, should staff only be able to use it? What key controls should be used here for menu and no clip? So this would be M. Um, for that should V menu enable weather sync. So if you don't have another weather option on your server, should you handle weather with uh, V menu rather than like V weather or whatever? How often should the weather change? Should it be clear? Should um, it enable the chance of having a one minute blackout during thunderstorms? Should your V sync enable time sync? Should time sync be enabled default when the server starts? Should it be smooth transition? Stuff like that. You can do that all in here. There is a partially automatic ban system, but this is not tested and it could possibly ban um, a bunch of different people. So I would keep this false and handle bans with staff and stuff. You don't need to really uh, do a bunch of banning, automatic banning, unless you want to, but that is taking the chance. Should they be logged in a log file? Should the menu have log files? That's something I recommend keeping enabled. Um, do you want siren control scripts with ELS and stuff? I would enable this to yes, unless you're using some external resource. Uh, should you have quit sessions in the Rockstar Editor? Should you have the Rockstar Editor and stuff? Um, what should be the server info message, the server website URL? So you can set this all up for your community. They give an example location for that as well. What should be the key bindings for teleportation to waypoints and stuff if it's not disabled? Should you spawn as a default character? Are animals enabled in the spawn menu? What is the PVP mode? Zero is do nothing. One's enable PVP. Two is for our friendly file for everyone. Two is de disable PVP. Default is zero. So it won't handle anything differently than it normally does. Um, and you can set the rest of this, the menu player distance, the disable um, any information. Uh, you could disable entity outlines, all this cool stuff. You got the ban message. Now, here is your database settings. Now, by default, you shouldn't need to mess with this at all. If you want to mess with it, you can, but don't do it. Um, unless you know and you're a system admin or you have developers who work with you, don't mess with the database. You do not need to touch it at all. It will work without it. Uh, permissions. Now, this is where everybody kind of gets confused. And I'm going to do a full video on permissions very soon. But to be just through a quick um, setup here, pretty much you can add players and groups depending on what you want. So if you want them to be an admin, a moderator, or any other group you set up, you can set this up here. And in order to do that, we're gonna sh I'm going to show you how to do it with Steam. Um, I do recommend having the Steam API set up and everything. We have a full video on that. Link will be down in the description as well. So I would set that up before using Steam identifiers and stuff. But anyway, while we are going to set myself as an admin. So to do this, we're just going to add a new line here. And it's going to be add under, or we're pretty much going to copy everything but this little line here. So you're just going to copy everything before those digits. And it's just going to say Steam. Then we're going to get our digits. To get our digits, you're going to go to steamidfinder.com. And you're going to enter your username. Mine is noodle0711. And you can see my Steam, all my infos here. You're going to copy your Steam ID 64. This is what you're going to need to use. Just go ahead and copy that, paste it in, and then type group or whatever group you want them to become. For me, it's going to be group admin, and I'm going to add myself as an admin. There is a bunch of different things you can do with permissions, not just Steam. So if you're using something which is not just like a Steam identifier or anything, you can use other things as well. But I do recommend using Steam if you have it set up because that's the easiest way to get this working. 
Um, and I would advise reading the documentation if you want to use something else. Anyway, let's scroll down a little bit and we're going to go into setting up your group permissions. And I'm not going to go through too much of this. I'm just going to review the file and then I'll let you all set it up yourselves or do a full video on it. So should so pretty much what this is doing is add principal admin's going to import and inherent inherent um inherit that's the word i'm too tired for this um inherit the group moderator um group so all the permissions from moderator admin will have by default um and then you have all of your global permissions don't touch any of this unless you know what you're doing that's pretty much what it says about all of this and you'll go through all of this should it allow uh, no clip should you allow other things like online players, admins and moderators, player options, you can allow or deny any of these. So should you allow and deny vehicle spawnings of sedans or SUVs or emergency vehicles? So if you have a only one emergency vehicles, change this from allow to deny. Same things like that. Just switch all of these. You can switch every single thing in the menu from allow to deny, depending on what you want to allow and deny really. Um, so overall, I do recommend changing these to using so you can't like teleport to people if you don't want people to teleporting and stuff. Change these to what you want. But that I will leave on you and I will do a full video in the future so this video isn't super long on how to do that. Um, now we can start our server and we can hop in. The one thing I did want to mention is in your server.cfg file, if you have script hook v or sv underscore script hook allowed to set to one, you do not need this anymore. But this will disable simple trainer, lamba menu, and all the rest of them because v menu will be going ahead and overriding that. So, um, you know, I would disable it if you want to avoid them using those. Or if you're on a private server, you could use both. Uh, both are fine as well. So we're going to go ahead and launch 5M, hop in, and we're going to press M and make sure everything is working to the way it's supposed to. All right, so once we have gotten in-game here, if you go ahead and press M, you can see a brand new menu has opened up. This is the V menu, and this is where you can control, like, teleport to online players. And if you are an admin, you'll see these options for killing, kick, ban player, ban player permanently. So... That is meaning I am an admin and I've gotten this set up properly. You can also view the banned players, player related options, your god mode, are you invincible, should you have unlimited stamina, fast run, all of that is available in here along with ped customization, Should what type of um, ped should you make. All of that is, it's literally a full blown trailer in here. You also got your voice chat set up in here so you don't need Lamba menu or anything for that. You got recording for the Rockstar editors which is pretty cool. The teleport options, developer tools, uh, private messages, controller support, speed, all of this can be shown and hidden, very cool. Got the V menu settings, recording options, world related settings, so time, should it be early morning, set time to early morning, should it be night, set time to night, and it does take a moment to switch, so be aware of that, it just syncs throughout the whole thing. Should you toggle the dynamic blackout? Should you toggle the blackout right now? Should it be clear? Should it be extra, extra sunny? It takes about 30 seconds to change all of those, so just be aware of that. Should you spawn vehicles? What's your personal vehicle? Should you add a blip for your personal vehicle? Lock your doors. All of that is in here, along with saving vehicles so you can respawn them. All of that is available in here, which is really, really cool. Um, teleport options. Obviously, you can teleport to waypoint, teleport to different locations. That example location, which is available inside the configure file, is also around here you can also save those locations directly from the menu so we have installed this we have gotten it working we are good to go so hopefully this did help you out and got you to install vmenu for the first time remember we'll be doing a full permissions video in the coming future so make sure to stay tuned for that but we are good to go you have it set up by default players won't be able to ban players or anything so it should be ready to go just king from allowed to deny to whatever you want to do and if you have any questions ask um probably in their community support uh section they won't they don't have an official support support anymore but they do have community support so make sure to stay tuned for that all right thank you so much for watching stay tuned for future videos subscribe if you're new thank you so much for watching